Nick Kipchoge. Whoa! Has got his shoulder. 140. 140. Let's begin this madness. So the day is done. Uh, I think it's the most that I ran in my whole life in one day. But uh, I didn't get got tired yet. Yet. But tomorrow is the track session, and I think it's gonna be the most important session of the whole week, even though it's not the longest one. Tomorrow will indicate to the rest of the week, so let's see. Okay, so today I woke up around 9 a.m. because today is only one uh, session. So now we're gonna go to the stadium and try to finish this nasty, nasty session. Okay, first set, 1.2 kilometers, let's go. Okay, so five times one kilometer with three minutes rest. I'm not sure how fast I will go, but uh, uh, the main goal is just to finish this week, not to go crazy fast or something. so the track is so wet that anything beyond 330 face pace is impossible like you run faster you just waste energy but 300 300s and 200s i will do in spike so it should be better So I think the montage of this session is going to be very fast, but I finished this session in more than two hours. It was so long, but I feel good. I, uh, it wasn't that bad as I thought it would be because it was mostly aerobic. So, uh, but I noticed that uh, my speed dropped dramatically over these past months, but it's supposed to be like this because I was running a lot of long runs. So for today, that's it. Let's go for tomorrow.
Okay, done. Okay, this one, this one was a tough one. Okay, so I, I just had pretty long nap. So I hope my legs are recovered enough to run this last 11 kilometers for today. Also, I think that I look like a person who would drop someone's house, but I'm not, just saying. Also, I'm concerned I'm out tomorrow. It's like, really? I will need to run like full marathon and keep chugging. It's like, it's a tempo run. Are you kidding me? My tempo run consists of five kilometers. Okay, maximum to eight or 10. And he's doing a tempo run. Just finished my 11 kilometers and it felt much better than in the morning, but it's, I still feel a little bit tired. So that's it for today. It was basically recovery day, but I'm not sure exactly what was kind of day was that, but let's go to tomorrow and see how I will do into that nasty marathon that I never done. Let's go. So, is this logical? No. Is this worth it? No. Oh my god, this is the most boring run that I've ever run. Okay, so just finished with the run. I finished at 30 kilometers, uh, not 40, because my legs were super heavy and it was hard to run. Uh, I guess it, uh, it's my limit. So I will try to recover as much as possible. I will go to sauna this afternoon, but I'm still gonna finish those 10 kilometers only on Sunday. Okay, so just finished with sauna. Um, I feel pretty relaxed after today and we will see how it will play out tomorrow. Okay, so today I slept in this morning because, well, well I'm tired. I'm exhausted, but coffee bring, brought me alive from the dead. And now let's finish those 18 kilometers today. just finished the run i felt much better than yesterday but i mean i don't feel pain in my legs but it's just that they are so stiff and grumpy like wood but other than that i'm feeling fine so let's carry on Okay guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you, today I thought that I'm not gonna do this training but because I woke up this morning and I thought that somebody ran over me with a car, I felt so destroyed but after one hour it's like always, I always think that I'm not gonna do it but still I, I, I managed to do it so today is the insane fart leg, 30 times 1 minute fast, 1 minute slow, let's see how I will do. Okay, so I set up the watch for the training, but of course I can't film this workout, so let's see after I finish it. Alright, so just finished the workout, I felt pretty decent, I ran around 3.30ish pace, uh, felt good. Although I got to say, when you have a watch you can't cheat, uh, Just keep, it keeps coming and coming, like uh, that one minute time fast very fast and uh, that's it but tomorrow is the last day for the challenge and i hope everything goes well let's go okay so i got this the first day and i didn't feel anything for the first time but but now it's the sixth day and it it hurts Okay, so maybe I'm being too dramatic, but I'm hoping that this will help me to reduce the something between this and my shoe and help me to run.
Okay, so yesterday I went to sleep very late, like an idiot. So I, today I woke up around 11 and uh, but still I'm gonna, I will try to finish the workout of today. The only problem is that I can feel my feet and it hurts, but as David Goggins would say, stay hard motherfucker. He finished the run after 10 kilometers around my I couldn't feel my foot finally so I don't know if either I will need to cut it or it adapted anyways I will need to finish the second run in this uh, in the evening and will be that's it okay my friends so that's it um, it was the last run I did the Kipchoge challenge I ran around 180 kilometers this this week around 110 maybe miles something like this i think the the pros and cons is like the pros is that i i could challenge myself and understood that what is marathon running is and uh and surprisingly i did okay like i, I mean from the volume pr perspective uh, I did fine. Of course, I couldn't run as fast as Kipchoge, but who 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 can? He's the only one. Uh, the cons is that it takes a lot of time. If you want to be a marathon runner, you need to really consider how much time can you spend while running. Because basically, I, what I was doing, I was running and resting, and because because my I need to I needed to recover a lot and. It takes a lot of time basically you need to think live and be about everything about your life needs to be about running and uh, this this whole week was the last week of my building of my aerobic basis basically that's how i will finish the periodization of that and um, i will start doing more of a uh, speed speedy workouts uh, lactate threshold tempo runs all that kind of fun stuff so that's it, that's it. See you guys in the next video, I guess. Wait, what? So you're saying that after seven days of non-stop grind, working my ass off, I still can't can't eat some ice cream? Oh, come on. I can't believe that we are having conversation like this right now. Like, really? Okay, 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 fine, fine. I'm not gonna eat ice cream. Can I at least have ask for a subscription? Like, or comment, or like? <sighs> it's always like this. Fine.